Welcome back to the How To Series. Today, we are covering licensing for SmartZone. In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our How To Hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. I'm already logged into the Ruckus Support Portal and our SmartZone appliance. As you work with your own licensing, you'll need to have your username and password for the Support Portal handy. If you don't have a license, you should reach out to the local sales team to purchase one. I don't recommend contacting Ruckus Support to purchase licenses as they aren't equipped to sell you them. However, they are available to assist you if you encounter any issues installing or activating your licenses. I want to give you a quick highlight of what Lyman or License Manager is and does. With Lyman, you can bind licenses to serial numbers of devices. You can handle your licensing allocations or the licensing pool, which I'll talk about later. And you can even perform an RMA for virtual appliances such as Virtual Smart Zone if you need to move that license from one device to another. Once we've purchased our license or licenses from our local sales team, we should receive an email that will look like this. This is our smart zone support license for a single appliance. Support licenses are bound to serial numbers, but I'll show you more about that here soon. In order to activate the license, we click on the activation code. This link directs us to the license activation page. Let's click the accept radio button and click on activate purchase. Lyman is informing us that we aren't quite done. We need to bind our license to the serial number. To do so, click on the product code. We need our smart zone serial number. Let's navigate to system and general settings. Here's the serial number. I'm gonna highlight it and copy it to the clipboard. Now, back in Lyman, I'll paste our serial number into the bind to device field and click on validate serial number. Now we just click bind support to device and we're finished. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add AP capacity licenses. These license types work differently than RTU or support licenses, but they're much more flexible. For example, if you purchase a 50 AP capacity license, you have the flexibility of adding 25 of those licenses to one of your smart zone instances and the other 25 to a separate instance altogether. This allows you to increase your footprint by purchasing one license pack and applying it to multiple devices. The way this works is by having our capacity licenses added to a pool within Lyman. Once the license is added to the pool, we can choose our desired quantity to be added to individual nodes or instances. Keep in mind that smart zone capacity licenses are only compatible with other smart zone devices. You can't use these licenses for other product types such as Zone Director or SCI or VSpot. Let me show you how it works. Now we can add our AP capacity license to the licensing pool, then we'll allocate the quantity we choose to our appliance. This is our AP capacity license. I'll go ahead and click the activation link. This takes us back to Lyman, where I'll accept the terms and conditions, and then activate purchase. Great, now we see our license info, and it gives us a good amount of information about it. Mainly, we can see that our license status is active, but we can also note that the license is currently bound to the license pool. Now let's get into Lyman and allocate our license. I'm going to paste our smart zone serial number into the field and search. There's our serial number, so I'll click on it. Let's click on the plus license button. In the feature name field, we'll select capacity AP and click search. Okay, this page essentially is showing us our license pool. We can see the add-on name, entitlement, expiration, available units, etc. The top line is our AP capacity license, so let's add all 10 AP licenses to our smart zone then scroll to the bottom and click Add License. As I described earlier, if you wanted to only add five to this appliance, you would just put five in, then you could use five for a separate appliance. Now we have two ways to add the license to our device. If our smart zone doesn't have internet access or firewall rules prevent us from reaching the Ruckus support portal directly from smart zone, we can download the license locally and install it from our machine. This method is also handy if we're traveling to a site or turning up a brand new smart zone. Our instance is connected to the internet, so we're gonna use the sync option, but I'm gonna download the license file and just show you where you would upload it in smart zone. 
In SmartZone, we're going to navigate to Administration and Licenses. Here you can upload the file we've just downloaded, as you can see I'm doing here. Let's cancel that. I'm going to use the Sync Now option. Once I click that option, we can see our new Capacity AP license show up almost immediately. That's it. I hope you found this useful and it makes handling your licenses much easier. Before you go, be sure to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.